My name's Martin Hinchelwood. I'm a professional Scrum trainer with Scrum.org. I'm also a, a DevOps consultant and Microsoft MVP. Um, I work a lot with software teams and I found that uh, what I believe to be true is that a professional software team is one that can deliver working software on a regular cadence that meets their customers' needs. But what I've found in practice is that that is not the case and that most teams do not meet their customers' need and they do not create working software. And this is uh, systemic in our industry and causing uh, massive problems and a lack of trust. So we, what have we been doing that's wrong? Why, why is Agile failing for us? Why is DevOps failing for us? Why are all these failing for us? And it's because we're, we're not really doing the right thing. We kind of started with Scrum. So we created a, a set of rules with which uh, we can guide everybody in the same direction. But what happened was that we, we didn't follow them. We're not being professional, at, at least following the rules. Whatever uh, practice or process you choose to do as an organization, you choose to do as a team, you should at least follow the rules. If you bought Monopoly, you would expect it to come with a rule book, not a strategy guide. And you would also expect that rule book not to help you win at playing the game, just to help guide us all in the same direction. So if you're going to have rules, you should follow them. That's the first thing that we need to do in order to be a professional team. The second thing we need is engineering practices. This is another failing of teams. We fail to have good engineering practices. Now this is something that should be easy to solve. We just add continuous everything. We bring DevOps into the mix. DevOps has a set of practices that help us be better at engineering. But even with those two things, even with technical excellence and the rules, we still don't deliver working software. We don't deliver the right software to our customers. And we fail to deliver working software because we're missing something crucial. We're missing values and principles. Without values and principles, we don't guide ourselves to the right decisions at the right time within our organization for our customers and for our teams. So what might those values be? Hopefully, these are things that you want in your organization, not things that you don't want. We need courage. Courage is the first value. We need courage to be able to say no to our customers. We need courage to be able to do the wrong thing for a sprint and for it not to go well, to admit it, make a change and move on. So we need courage. We need focus as well. We need focus for our team to be able to go build something. We need the focus of the sprint goal so we're going in the right direction. We need the focus of the backlog so that we're all uh, building the right thing. So focus is important. We need commitment as a team. Our team, our software development team, commits to delivering working software. Our product owner commits to delivering the most value to our customers. These are all commitments that we need to make as a, as a, as a team and as a scrum team. But our organization needs to commit to allowing us to do the right thing, to follow the rules and the processes. We also need respect within our organization. We need respect for the product owner that they're making decisions based on the knowledge they have. The product owner needs to respect the team that they're doing everything they can to build working software. So respect is important too. We need openness. We need to be open with our, with our backlog so everybody can see what's going on. We need openness to get transparency. Without transparency, we can't inspect and adapt. So we need openness. So those five things are in addition to our engineering practices, are in addition to just following the rules. With all three of those things, we're able to build working software that meets our customer need on a regular cadence.